Hey guys, it's Cass, and welcome back to The Cruel King and the Great Hero. This will be episode two. We left off basically figuring out that the dragon is helping us along the way, and then on top of that, we just got our first sword. If I remember correctly, continuing has us heading back home. It says a day's end. So we will pick right back up here. Thanks for tuning in, and let's go. See what kind of shenanigans we get up to now is we gotta head all the way back home. Just kidding. <laughs> As you made her way to leave town, she heard what sounded like a fox cry out in the distance. Oh. Heading toward the sound, you found a fox cub asking another villager for help, but the fox drooped its head sadly as the villager left it behind. Oh my goodness, let's go save it. <laughs> oh, worried for the poor thing, you approached the fox, but it had run off before she could get close. Ah, it's gone. Oh, I wonder why it was so sad, but I need to get back before it gets dark. Despite her concern for the fox, she decided to return home. Did he just sneakily follow us? Maybe, possibly, sort of. Oh, so there's no music here. Oh. Hi. Why can't I go this way? Oh, oh, talk. Shall we head home? Go home. All right, then, climb on my back. Okay, so we gotta go to Ben. We've already talked to all these characters. So as lovely as they are, we will press on to go sleep. I believe we've talked to all these, yes. Let's take a sleep. Is it time for bed? Yes, sleep. Good night. That night, you excitedly told the Dragon King what had happened to her that day. He listened with a keen ear, a smile on his face as you recounted her many tales. Oh, that's right. You remembered the troubled fox she'd seen earlier. The Dragon King then replied, You know, a great hero helps those in need. Your papa was one such hero. The Dragon King reminisced about old times. Hey, Dad, can I go to the village again tomorrow? You explain, exc explained how she'd like to help the fox cub in some way if it was still in trouble. What a splendid idea, you. How commendable. The Dragon King praised her. Shortly after, you had fallen asleep while listening to some more tales, or two more tales, of the great hero. Tomorrow she would be aiding another in their plight. Just what sort of adventure awaited you? <clears throat> you had made her way down to the village to search for the fox cub she saw yesterday. I wonder if Mr. Fox is here today. Didn't know where to start her search, but she nonetheless began looking for the cub. Let's search for the fox. Did I talk to you? The fox cub came to the village today too, huh? I think I saw them around the plaza somewhere. Thanks. I come talk to you. Hmm, this is a problem. Miss Blacksmith, did something happen? Oh, young lady, I'm just having a little trouble is all. I was preparing to hearth the forge some weapons, but the flame went out. Without the proper heat, my weapons won't be sturdy. I need completely dried firewood, but the village storehouse ran out. I'll have to venture into the forest to gather some. Oh, young lady, would you be interested in going into the forest to fetch three bundles of firewood for a reward? Heck yeah, I would. You got yourself a deal. Three bundles of firewood, right? There's a mischievous monster that carries the hardwood I'm looking for. Shouldn't be difficult to spot. It won't take much to scare it off and make it drop the wood. I really appreciate the help. Use act of kindness. Use first act of kindness. This is an ongoing story about you helping those in need and is separate from the main story. Cute. In this world, many await for use act of kindness. They are optional, but you gets rewarded with special things that will help her in, if she completes them. Along with these side quests, you get the chance to learn more about the charming residents who live here. 
If you accept multiple quests, remembering where to go for each one can be daunting. As such, they will be there will be recorded <laughs> they will be recorded in the scrapbook. Press X to open the main menu. Select scrapbook. This is the scrapbook use. Journey is recorded here. It also keeps track of our next destination, so remember to revisit if you're if you're ever lost. Selecting a quest from the left will display your next destination on the map. Press the minus to open the map and read more details. Press X to set the destination and the upper right window will show you where to go if you get lost. This displays the next objective or objectives for any quest you have basically done as a destination. Okay, let's go. So we gotta try to look for, oops, I keep doing that. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go there, but we're also... Okay, so the red bubbles are acts of kindness, Avi the green is where I am, and the exclamation point is the objective. I say my goal will be to complete all of them in some way or another. Oh no, I'm taking on too much. Is she the one behind this? Enough is enough. Look at the trouble she's causing. How many times do I have to tell her, Wildcat, Wildcat, where did Wildcat go? Whoa, huh? What's wrong? Who are you? I'm not a street performer, you know. Wait, hold on. What is a human girl doing in a place like this? Ahem. <laughs> I haven't seen you around these parts before, little girl. What's your name? I, I'm you. And, um, you are? Listen carefully, little girl. There isn't a soul in this village who doesn't know who I am. I'm Madame Goldie, the one and only proprietress of the Sheep family. You'd you'd do well to remember it and never forget it. Okay, I'll do that, Madame Goldie. Memorized. Well, aren't you the earnest? Call me Madame from now on, you understand? I understand, Madame. Mind you, I'm a very busy woman. There is a child I must find at all costs. Is something bothering you, ma'am? Or madame, excuse me. <laughs> Maya, how perceptive. I like that. A keen intuition is a good quality. Yes, something is troubling me. I can help you. I'm lending those in need a helping hand. To think there are children like you in this day and age. Hmm. Well, I don't see why not. Find me a child named Wildcat of a sheep tribe. She is a problematic one. She's a hopeless tomboy who revels in making mischief. She needs someone to entertain her. After her misdeed, she always hides somewhere in the village, waiting for the perfect moment to strike again. Tell me, you, what are you supposed to do after doing something naughty? Um, I'd probably apologize to everyone involved. Exactly. You're such a good girl. Wildcat did something bad, and now she must apologize. She's out playing hide-and-seek. I want you to find her and tell her something for me. Madame is waiting at the mansion. If you don't hurry back, you're going to the reflection room? Yikes. Reflection room? Yes, it's a room she cannot leave until she feels the consequences of her actions. It's only natural. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. So I've got to find the sheep girl and give her your message, right? I got this. Eee. How very dependable. I'm counting on you. We're taking on too many. Oh, I just said I was going to do the one. <laughs> now I have two. Okay, okay, time out. Let's double check where we're at. Let's do this one first and take care of this. We are still looking for the fox. Hi. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, what's the matter? You called out to the cub, offering her help. The cub let out a cry with pleading eyes. Huh? Your family is in danger because they got sick. The cub nodded before explaining. Oh my gosh. They look so cute. The fox cub and its family were part of the snow fox tribe living on the crystal moon hill. One day the youngest cub suddenly came down with a debilitating fever and the family was at a loss. The disease then quickly spread to the rest of the family, even to the cub speaking with you. It was then a single flower petal gently floated by illuminating a little, or illuminating a light pink hue from its veins. The petal landed on the sick cub and the cub was cured. In a frenzy, the cub placed the petal on the rest of its family, but the petal's glow had worn out, or worn off, its cure ineffective. 
The cub realized it needed more petals and decided to come to the village in search of clues leading to the mysterious flowers. And so the cub set about asking the monsters around town, but no one had heard of the shiny flowers. However, one villager knew of a mysterious forest nearby. It was called the Blooming Forest. It was called that despite it being located in Crystal Moon Hill. It was bathed in warmth, allowing all kinds of flowers to flourish. If the mystical healing flower could be found, it would be there. The fox recalled that the miracle petal had drifted from that direction. That was enough to verify the villager's claim. I see, I see, you nodded along in agreement. That's a very good point, right? The cub then asked you to help search for the blooming forest together, to which you happily agreed. Heck yeah, we got a friend! Of course, your family will be in big trouble if we don't hurry. Let's go. The cub replied with a cry of joy. All right, I don't know your name, Mr. Fox. The cub introduced itself as Rocky. Rocky, huh? It's nice to meet you. I'm you. With their introductions out of the way, they began their journey to the blooming forest for the myth mystical pink flower. Okay, go to the snow forest. Okay, so we have to keep our eye out for a kid and the wood. Oh, young lady, please come here for a moment. <laughs> yes. It'll be dangerous if you get lost to so take this with you. Received magic crumbs. Thanks. If you use this, you can return to the tree in the village at any time, so use it accordingly. Dope. No need to pay me. Just shop at my store whenever you get the chance. Let's peek at what you got. Bye. Ooh, fills a bit of stamina. It says that they don't have any in stock, right? I don't understand. Ice amulet. Brand new pot, cute! Hot compress. It doesn't have any though. Oh, wait. Why? But it says they don't have any in stock. Let's get a few more of these just to be safe. Uh oh. Spent a lot of money already. Repels monsters for 50 paces. Hot compress. Let's get one of these just because I don't really know what it is. Thank you for your patronage. Okay, wait. So we have to go up. And then it was saying scrapbooks, right? Monster Village. So let me go to the snow forest first <clears throat> to complete this objective with my bud. And then I feel like we will go from there. Hi! Found you, Wildcat! Oh, cute! Ah, drat! I've been made! I thought I'd never found I thought I'd never be found here. Wait, who the heck are you, and how do you know who I am? Madame asked me to find you so I can deliver a message to you. Ew, you're Madame's errand girl? So who are you? Never seen you before. I'm you, it's nice to meet you. Psh, nice to meet you, she says. Speak for yourself. Oh, anyways, sorry. I hit that too many times. All right, Madame is waiting back at the mansion. If you don't hurry back, you're going to the reflection room. Gah, the reflection room? Anything but that. Fine, I get the picture. I'm going home. I hope you'll apologize for what you did. Humph, you're a cheeky one. You don't even know what you're talking about, you goody two-shoes. Didn't you do something bad? Ha! <laughs> I'm a saint compared to the adults and all their knavery. <clears throat> Where do you get off bossing me around, you jerk? You jerk! <laughs> Wait, I don't have time for this. I've got to get back to Madame's. Well, I probably won't ever see you again, so thanks, I guess, for giving me Madame's message. Bye. She said I was a jerk twice. Okay, so now that I completed that, I have to report back to her. Maybe we do that real quick. Let's go report back to her so we could just check that one off. So then I only have one that's like actively pending as something of like an act of kindness I said I would do. 
see what happens and what I get from doing that as well. Let's report back. Oh, how are things, you? I have to thank you. She finally returned. Madame, hi there. You delivered my message word for word. It was a tremendous help. Please take this as a reward. Thank you, madame. Still, Wildcat doesn't feel truly accountable for her actions. Always a troublemaker, that one. If you see Wildcat again, you would be an excellent role model. She needs someone to play with, too. You got it, madame. Stamp of approval. Oh, cool. You received a reward for your act of kindness. Chilled amulet plus 90 shells and one star. So what does that give me? Text users from being chilled. Okay, well, that's something nice to know that is existing there. Oh, we want to go to our wooden sword. Okay. I think that's where we'll leave that for now. Let's go on and see if we can get to the, what was it? Snow forest. Wasn't there somebody else up here? Okay, to that end that needed something to be helped too. So we'll have to check in with that person after, but let's finish this out first. Do I talk to you? Things are looking better on Crystal Moon Hill today, but it's still pretty cold up there, so be careful. Maybe I should... Maybe we'll trade this out for the chilled one since we're going to a cold area. See how that comes into play. So we are going to the snow forest, which is all the way over here. Oh, geez, OP. Now I get someone to help attack with me. <laughs> oh no. So now I believe I'm responsible for healing both of us. Let's just take this guy out. Rude. Mass toe, let's go. Okay, so that's done. Okay, attack. Let's attack the raccoon. Very nice. Obtain ten shells and six XP. Hi, lizard. <laughs> Hello there, young lady. If you're going to the Crystal Moon Hill, you can get there through this cave. As one might expect from a frozen habitat, many monsters use the cold to their advantage. I'd recommend taking any equipment that might pro provide protection against the cold. I recently happened upon a peddler selling such equipment. If you're in the market for some, talk to him. Catch you later. Well, the nice thing is, is I completed that act of kindness, so I already have that item, which is awesome. So... What the heck are you? Boulder defense.
I guess I don't necessarily need to keep attacking. I guess I could have used the uh, stronger... Oh, hold on. Power fruit on Rocky. Wait, I can't do that? Item, power fruit, for Rocky. Can I not do that? Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's do a flame slash. I guess I could have done this all along, but I didn't think about being that smart. <laughs> Obtained four shells and three XP. Oh, check what? Schneefki? What'd you find? What'd you find? Thanks, Rocky. Rocky found healthy fruit buried in the ground. Awesome. Uh oh. Older defense. Rock crab is brandishing something. I didn't quite read it. I do believe we both get hurt in hitting it. Yeah. We both take a point. I took three points of damage there. But we should be able to wipe it out here and then I'll just heal. <clears throat> Obtain four shells and three XP. Items. Healthy three. Where are we heading to? Okay, just down over here. Yeah, get out of here, crab. <laughs> Obtain four shells and three XP. Ew, so pretty. The cold terrain was always covered in snow and ice every day of the year. It was the midst of severe weather. Small monsters lived their daily lives huddled close together. The icicles that had formed at the top of the large crescent-shaped hill emitted a particular sound from being battered by the wind, earning it the name Crystal Moon Hill. Makes sense to me. Ooh, <laughs> so this is Crystal Moon Hill. It's so pretty, but it also, but it's also way too cold. Brr. Yeah, we chilly. Crystal Moon Hill was covered in snow. Even the courageous you found it chilly. Th this is nothing. I I got this. <laughs> Burr. So where do we get? Where do we go from here? Rocky mentioned that Grandfather Owl might have something, might know something about the blooming forest. Grandfather Owl, the elder of the snow owls living deep within Crystal Moon Hill, Rocky explained that Grandfather Owl was known for his wisdom. Makes sense. Great. <laughs> it sounds like he'll know something. Let's go see him. You and Rocky began their trek through Crystal Moon Hill to meet the fabled Grandfather Owl. Okay, again, let's take a peep. So we gotta go up, but I don't know if it's gonna make us kind of loop around. Which I have a feeling is exactly what it might do. Well, I wanna peek this way since it's not asking me to go this way. Rut row, what are we gonna fight now? You know what I didn't do last time was I didn't um Let's 
survey attack. Oh, shoot. Rocky is chilled and can't move. Oh. Sway, don't involve me. <laughs> nah, you mess with us, bro. You gotta go. Okay, so we at least got rid of that one. Rocky is freezing cold and can't move. That's fine. I'll take care of Rocky. Right, it's interesting that it still has me select Rocky then. Oh, shoot. I gotta heal Rocky. And eight shells and six SP level up! Yeah! Okay, we are searching for Grandfather Owl, and I could go up the other way, but I kind of over here, and maybe I'm doing too much adventuring. Oh, so there's multiple different ways to get here, it seems like. Let's just see if we can get up over there. Okay. Bark, bark, bark! <laughs> Your house is up ahead, huh? We might get sick if we go in now. Let's return after we get the flower. Oh, is that his house? That's really cute. Back. Attack. Is this just a snow raccoon? It really is. That's actually pretty cute. I don't know if I have to observe them to get them in my, like, monster deck. Oh, great. French. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to heal. I'll do that now. 12 shells and 8 XP, and I leveled up! Heck yes, I didn't necessarily need to heal. I wanna talk to you. Hi! Phew, it's really, really cold. I, I can't believe you're okay with these clothes. There's a snowstorm up ahead. You won't last like this. Grandfather Owl lives up north. He might share with you some of his great wisdom. Tanks, that's where I'm heading. An even more cold space. Uh oh. Stopped. Hmm. Oh, allies. Mm -mm. Okay, so he's gone. I'll get this one. Take him out. Heck yeah. <laughs> I like their little mouths when they bite you. Ow. We bite back. Noise. Jeez, we almost both need to heal after everything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I need to keep going up. How do I get turned around? Oh, check. <laughs> Dragon helping us. That's so cute. <laughs> okay. I might need to heal us both, to be honest, here pretty quick. Rocky is chilled and can't move. 
Nice, you're gone. <laughs> like that, it just calls them like that. That's so cute. Pick out the same one. Both getting low. Um. Gosh. Rocky is freezing and can't move. Rude. Crunch slash. Very good job. Okay. Waltzing this way. Pretty snowy rainforest. The heck is this? Gonna check it? Yeah. I feel a strange power. Cool. Who are you? I must talk. Oh, I get a job at you. What do you have? Anything good? I don't. Oh, I do have enough. Heals ice damage and chills all allies or enemies. Uh, I think I can only do that once, right? that by again okay sure thing so was that an equipment then so what did I just buy inventory Okay, so our weapons it's full of holes. We have the chilled amulet, the speed amulet. This is what it was. So this is considered what an item. Okay. Heals ice damage and chills. Magic crumbs teleports you to the monster village. Unlimited use. Heck yeah. Okay. This is a broken hilt. Okay, cool. I, of course I get in a fight every time I go home. I wanted to... Is it survey? And I want you to attack. Because I don't- I didn't check to see if those other ones, um... Shoot, I'm hunting snow foxes. Don't you get in my way. Need a heal, girl. I think I might need to do the power slash. Yeah, let's do that. Blame. God, what kind of hit is that? Flame slash. <laughs> nice. Level up. Rocky leveled up. Cute. Okay, now where are we heading? Yes. <laughs> These are fun. Attack. Do you have a skill? Well, horizontally align enemies. Also damages self. Okay, let's try that. 
You, but... Okay, I can still do it. All right. I thought it was because he went up in the air. Oh my god, I need to heal again already. <laughs> no, leave Rocky alone. The amount of damage these little owls do is kind of intense. Stray lives just up ahead. It's near where Grandfather Owl's place is at. There's a shortcut here, but you can't get through from this side. There's a steep hill on the way. You can forget about climbing it, but if it's uphill from here, then it must be the downhill on the other side. I'd recommend taking the shortcut when you're coming this way from the other side. So what? Found durable cloth. Cool. I have to go a different way to get to it? I'm gonna have to use a power fruit already again, which is just wild. Uh. Heh, <laughs> doesn't work on me, bro. Try though. I want to take you out because you're less worrisome to me. Or, um, raccoon is less worrisome to me, I guess, is what I should say. Gosh, I'm gonna have to heal again after this. So I wonder if I buy another one of those um, chilled amulet things. Um, if that means that I could put it on Rocky. I think I can, because if I go over here to him, he doesn't have anything. Speed ring? Sure. But that's a good thing to keep in mind then if I go down and end up um, finding that merchant again that was selling it, uh, the house place that I remember the name of it. <laughs> so I have to go down and around? These are pains in the butts, you know that? <laughs> At least it weakens them for that amount of time, so that's good to know. I leveled up. Did it say I had a skill that was learned? I never did look down here in our monster decks. So we have the Snowball Hootie. Cute. Their stamina is insane. Weak to fire um, or tra interrupt when it attacks Rocky. How do I do? How do I interrupt it? Snowbug. Weakness, hitting multiple enemies at once. And then Snow Raccoon, we don't know. Okay. Hello! 
Hey there, you've ever observed a monster's behavior closely before? If you pay attention, you just might be able to understand what it's thinking. Whether or not that's useful is up for debate. It's debatable, but you know. Okay, so we should, after we fight again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to take advantage of this every time I get. Because they're going to keep attacking the crap out of us. You better not hurt my Rocky. Thanks, dragon. Oh my god. Oh, I learned a new skill and I didn't look at it. I don't remember if there was a way to, um... Oh, I... Yeah. Is it in my scrapbook? Inventory? Special skills? There we go. <laughs> Gale Slash. Pounce on enemies with great fervor. Easier to attack first. Oh, well, that's cool. We learned something new. Does this finally get us to Grandfather Owl? Heck yeah, let's go. <laughs> I like her little tooth. You and Rocky have arrived deep on the hillside. Is he here somewhere? He should be, but Rocky said relentlessly, looking around for any signs of the old owl. Just then, the two heard a hoot from the sky high up above them. Oh, look, it's one of the guys we've been fighting. <laughs> Raising their heads, they saw an old owl perched atop a tree branch. Oh, are you the grandfather owl? Hey, <laughs> I, I believe, but you are a new face to me, young one. Grandfather owl gazed at you, a curious look on his face. I'm you. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Grandfather Owl. Hmm, this pleasure is mine. The pleasure is mine, you. And you are Rocky of the Snow Fox Tribe, are you not? It appears your family is in dire straits. And you? Rocky let out a yelp, explaining his current predicament to the Grandfather Owl. I see. You seek, you seek Blooming Forest. Do you know where it is? Alas, I do not. These eyes not have not laid upon such a sight. It is but a place of rumors, and yet I cannot deny Rocky's tale of the glowing petal that cured his ailment. If such a place did exist, there is only one place it may be found. Where? Where? You leaned forward exci excitedly as Grandfather Owl, Owl <laughs> continued his explanation. Not even birds flying above Crystal Moon Hill had seen the mythical blooming forest. Therefore, Grandfather Owl concluded the only place it could be was the center of the Crystal Moon Hill, a tundra with never-ending blizzards. Great. <laughs> it was a part of the hill that was impossible to even fly in, let alone glimpse through its icy veil. No one had stepped foot on its snowy pastures, thus making it the perfect enclosure for something as mysterious as the blooming forest, Grandfather Owl surmised. Oh, be sure to take this with you. Finished with his explanation, Grandfather Owl handed you a coarse rock full of holes. <laughs> huh, what's this? It's so warm. Your clothing is not suited for the frost of this land. That rock contains the power to keep you warm. Take it with you. Are you sure? Thank you. It is the least I can do for Rocky's family. More so, <laughs> more so there has been an influx of dangerous monsters nearby. You would do well to take great caution on your journey. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll be careful. With their newfound knowledge of the Crystal Moon Hill, you and Rocky thanked Grandfather Owl as they set out once more. Okay, so I think that's quite the ways to go down. I think we do that because then everything else was back through here. Um, Crystal Moon Hill, and then we had, no, 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 not the Mountain Den. At the Monster Village was where we had the Acts of Kindness. So we need to go back this way. Yeah, 
already spoke with that sheet. Okay, so there's two things here. Okay, we'll take a peek at both. Heck yeah, check it! Found 260 shells, that's awesome. We can buy more goodies! <laughs> okay, neither of us have enough. Neither of us have enough for any of our special attacks here to wipe them out quicker. So we might do a bit of healing before we're really able to do much damage on them, unfortunately. Call allies? What? I at least want to get rid of the snowball. Shoot, I shouldn't have done both of us. <gasps> We're both gonna die. We're both gonna die. We're both gonna die. He's fainted and I'm about to. I'm dead. <sighs> Your party is out of strength. Yes, of course. Oh, Does that kick us out? What happened? Oh no! Where does that have us? Okay, just through here. Let's go double check this. Okay, we're back in this battle, but we don't have enough. Escape. Couldn't escape. Lovely. Deals ice damage and chills all allies or enemies. Let's try this. Okay, so he's not really messed with, and maybe they're not really messed with to begin with. I have a new skill. Let's try this and see what happens. Oh no. You need to be gone. Oh, thank goodness you missed me. <laughs> Maybe I can get through this. Let's see. Oh my gosh, are you hitting me? Can I power fruit him? I can't. Okay, so he's out of it. I don't know how this is gonna work. No idea again. So what is a different strategy that we can have here? What is a different strategy that we can have here to avoid that battle? If we can avoid it, which it looks like we can't. He doesn't have any other special skills like that. Okay. I think we need to get rid of the snowball hootie first. There's five of you. Okay, let's do another skill, a gale slash. You're going to use a skill of charge to all of them. Oof. Do not. No! What? 
How? Oh my god, this is a joke. That successfully escaped. All right. I couldn't escape in the beginning, so maybe that is something to uh, note. And then maybe we will do something to heal both of us. At least we saw in that instance that, that was like something that we couldn't be. Oh, something's on the ground. Found renewal droplet. What's that? Is that just gonna be? So maybe that's just in our inventory. Renewal droplet. Oops. Revise or restores half of a fallen ally's stamina. Stamina. Hmm. The snow's blocked my path. I wonder if I melt it by the time I come back. Or if it'll melt. Okay. So I have to go all the way around? No. I don't want to fight. <laughs> I don't want to fight anymore. I really don't. <sighs> we need to get rid of this stupid owl. No, no more allies. Enough with the allies, please. Mm. This is intense. <laughs> They're just too powerful. So I basically need to buy those every time I come across them. I say we go up and then we'll go to the right. I don't want to fight anymore. This is where these games aren't fun to me. I don't want to do this. Let me guess, you all get to fight first. Stupid. At least he leveled up, so that feels good that he's at least somewhat healed. I couldn't go up here, could I? I went the wrong way? Not skill attack. Let's just get rid of him because I have a feeling my hit won't do it. Yeah, or hit just one hit. Both of us didn't do it. Uh -uh. 
French. Nice. Okay, so just to double check, we're going up because I want to see if we can go around this way. I can't. Wasn't that the entire reason that we didn't go this way? That's fine. We're going to take a long journey around, but that's okay. I wish I could run through these areas. I was gonna say, was there not anywhere else I could go? Oh. Yeah, it gets to attack us first. Call BS on that. <laughs> Worth using it. Get out of here, bro. definitely want to buy like all the things from this lady that I can. First I gotta fight. <laughs> oh allies, of course you're going to. No, no more allies. We don't want any more friends over here. You're at half a heart. I disagree. Nice, I leveled up. I do want to heal. We, we, um, yeah. Uh oh. I think that means that these are. Let's buy a hundred and twenty dollars worth. Monster Bane. Those monsters for fifty paces. I think we'll back out of that. That by again, okay, okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. We're just gonna try to take him out like this because he's gonna hit us first. Um, but hopefully this just gets rid of him. I'll take it. Okay, so we need to go this way and then down at the end.
Nice. Okay. I double check every time because I just seem to be forgetting pretty quickly. That seems to spit. I don't want to fight. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. We're just going to attack. We're going to have him do his charge ability since that's their weakness after probably all three of them hit us. Noise. Okay, so he's gone. Oh. Attack. Crunch. Slash. Noise. You love a butt, cute. Okay, then we have to go to the right. All right, this is not a way that we have gone before. Def using your little charge skill here, especially since that's their weakness. Take them out while we can. Oh, heck yeah. Hi. What the heck are you? We're just going to hit it and see what happens. He was really cute. I want to see if that was in our monster decks. Icicle stag. I don't really know anything about it. Do I have to observe it for that? I think so. Do you like monster with horns of ice? Dislikes violence, but when endangered, it brandishes its sharp horns, its meat marble to perfection, and lush fur make it a prime target for hunters. Oh, I don't want to hunt anything. Okay, so we gotta keep going. Seems like we have quite the walk through this snowy, extra, extra blizzardy area. I'm gonna stop it, I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> Down pointy fangs. I don't know what those do. I did see them in my inventory, but I never did. Never did. Oof. No, don't hurt him. I want you gone, and I'm gonna use your skill on this guy because these owls are such a pain in the butt. Oof. Oh my gosh, the owl's still here. I hope I don't regret. Our fruit. Okay. 
Let's both attack and we should be fine. Hopefully. Oh no, don't take me out, please. No. Oh, he can still attack. Okay. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Let him attack, please. Oh, we barely won that. We barely, barely got that done. Honestly, I should do another one. Okay, so that's gone. We should probably try to take out the raccoon guys first since they call for allies. I don't believe the other things do, but I could be entirely wrong. Like, I have a feeling he's gonna call for allies. I want to fight more than that. So we just have one more to take out. Nice. I leveled up! Heck yeah! Okay, so we still have quite a bit of a way to go. So clearly a few more battles. Gosh, the amount of stuff they do is pretty intense. I love that you, it didn't take any damage like that. Oh wait, I just want to attack. I want him to use his skill. Oh no. They can only attack me now. <laughs> uh oh, I'm probably gonna go down here. I think I'm done. Yeah. No! Death! Death! Double! Death! I don't know where it last auto-saved us. How far back are we? It wasn't too back. Too far back, was it? We should auto-save, honestly, every time we get to a new page. And maybe that'll help us out a little bit? Quite possibly. On pointy fangs. So I feel like here I should quick save. And then we'll quick save when we get to a new page. <laughs> the heck do you do with this? Heck yeah, get rid of that one. Oh, 
Okay, we got this. I think we got this. I never observed it. Maybe I should have done that to begin with. It's gonna hit me first. Then I'm taking it out, so. <laughs> I leveled up, but we def got a hill. Oh, wrong button. Quick save that. And then I think when I get to every page, maybe we just be smart to do it that way. That way we're not getting too far behind. Because I definitely don't want to keep being reset all the way back that far. That's for sure. Okay. No, not skill. Attack. I want to do skill of charge. You hit. I attack. I want to observe. Survey. And then I want him to attack. I want to be fed by a prince. <laughs> I'll take the hit for that. <laughs> Rude. Let's fill you up again. Gosh, I feel like I really need to be saving. Let's save at the next page and maybe I'll regret that. I had a feeling. I just knew it. I just knew it. Oh no. Okay, let's see what mine is. Gale. You're just gonna attack the snow buggy. I guess I didn't really need to do that, but then it just goes around call as you, but just one. That's all you're allowed. Let's take out this raccoon. Nice. Okay, now we get to the next piece. A police. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Save it right here. I don't trust that. When it told me that I could save, select a bookmark. Oh, that's cool. So we need to go up, it looks like. Just kidding, let's fight! No, no. <laughs> okay, I have a skill, I might as well... And we're going to do a charge skill on these two. Let's get rid of him, and then I just have these little rats. A mousey. Rude! Bite me, I'd bite you back! Yeah! Yeah, he leveled up! 
I wanted to peek at what what these fangs were. Cute baby fangs, that's all they are. <laughs> Pointy fangs, pointed fangs that hurt a bit. I guess maybe some of this stuff is stuff that I get to sell. Durable cloth. I go to equipment. Dented pot. Oh, so that's all I can wear like that. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what a lot of the other stuff is for, but that will be something hopefully we can discover along the way. Let's check this. Found fairy fruit! I said I was going to quick save, I just need to be smarter about it. What is fairy fruit? Refills a bit of energy for five turns. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'd take that. Okay. Older defense. Don't touch it. So what's a way to combat that then? It said not to touch it, so then maybe I use a skill and serve it. And I let you charge at it? You're going to hate me how spiky I'm going to be. I believe that that is what allows me to be able to do certain things. It says not to touch it, but I'm not going to react to that in that kind of way, I feel like. Because otherwise that would just be four turns where I'm not doing anything when I could just kill it. Pretty. The mythical land rumored to lay at the heart of the Crystal Mountain was made real, not a snowflake in sight to conceal its unnatural calm. Flowers, all, flowers of all kinds carpeted the ground, a garden of flowers amid a winter wonderland. This was the storied blooming forest. Yay! Whoa, amazing! Wu and Rocky's eyes were transfixed by the field of flowers that had appeared before them. The blooming forest, it really does exist. We did it, Rocky. Rocky yelped out in cheer. The glowing pink, pink flower and the two had been searching for was somewhere here. The two quickly recomposed themselves as they began searching the forest. <laughs> we have quite a bit of a ways to run through here. What the heck are you? Russell, Russell, suddenly a fierce monster they've never seen before leapt from a nearby thicket. I is this, or it is this one of the scary monsters Grandfather Owl told us about? The beast scowled at you and Rocky, its eyes filled with, ho with hostility. Be careful, Rocky, it's coming at us. Mm -mm. The heck are you, bro? Oh, I can't do charge because he can only do it on. Oh, shoot. We don't have like a health bar, so I'll fight for a minute, but then I might back out entirely.
kill him though. Wow, that still didn't do anything. Escape. I couldn't escape. This is defense. I don't, I don't want to use that if I have to heal. Is bracing to deal three times more damage? Are you kidding? I still can't run. I uh... Oh, I'm screwed. I think I'm done. Done. Dead. Blech. Okay, so what's the strategy for this one then? <laughs> okay, we saw this already. How I think his skill. Oh, why did I think it only worked? Um, when he, uh, what do you call it? If they were on the ground. We're not getting that powerful of hits off on it for the amount of like way that it's attacking us. How do you beat this guy? <laughs> That's overpowered. <laughs> I don't know how to beat it. They're both dead! Double dead! Hmm. Glowing. I don't think this is going to be in there. See rock crab. Inventory. I don't think there's anything else that I have that could make any of this any better.
inventory equipment. Okay, so then if we go here, I guess we could do the chilled one, not that that makes a difference. I don't think there's anything else I could do to, I don't know, I don't know a way to beat it. I'm going to give this one more shot. Hmm, I really don't know. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's not. It's part of the game. But it just sucks because I don't really know how to beat it. I like just don't have enough every time to do this with it, you know? Like, I think he's gonna get killed in this next turn. I'm dead? Really? Yeah, dragon, help me. How do I defeat this? Oh my god, how? I think it's gonna take me out. Yeah, dragon for what? How? How? I'm dead over here. Dead. I don't know how to beat it. Well, shoot. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how to beat that. I'm gonna think on it for a bit, but because this is almost an hour and a half long already, I think I'm gonna cut it there. See if maybe there's something I can learn about the dragon. This is a new game, so it's gonna be hard to find out any kind of like cheaty, cheeky type information about any of it, but I'm surely gonna try. I don't want something to defeat me this quick in the game, um, but clearly it's strategy based and I need to come at it from a different angle. But that's where I'm going to end this episode. So we will be picking up the next episode, hopefully coming out on Tuesday. 
um, where we will hopefully take down this weird looking dragonfly thing. And then finally finding the glowing pink flowers to be able to save um, Rocky's family. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one of the Cruel King and the Great Hero. Bye!